In many ways, urge surfing is the heart of the MBRP programme. There's evidence that although attempting to suppress urges and cravings may be effective in the short term, in the long term this strategy can result in even greater craving. So we train participants in turning towards rather than away from craving sensations, helping them to develop a patient, curious and careful attention to them instead of avoiding, distracting or denying these uncomfortable experiences. Drug addiction is characterised by progressively increasing craving that the addict imagines is just going to get worse until they use. When the addictive behaviour is engaged in, it brings relief, but also reinforcement that drug use is the way to end craving. Without experiencing any alternative relief, the cycle of craving and drug use never diminishes. This is where urge surfing comes in. We can help our clients to realise that urges and cravings are transient and harmless experiences that come and go without us needing to do anything about them. If clients don't use drugs in response to an urge, but instead learn to surf it, although it might get a little worse at first, they also realise that, given time, urges naturally peak and then drop away. With no drug reinforcement, the body learns that craving goes away of its own accord and over time craving reduces. This is a diagram that I sometimes draw for clients to emphasise the value of the practice. So let's see what it might look like in practice. So for this next exercise I'm going to ask you to bring to mind a situation that triggers you in some way, uh, pulls you to act in a way which is against your best intentions. So I want you to choose something which is um, not too difficult. So on a scale of 1 to 10, if 10 is, um, means you're going to relapse and be out the door, maybe choose a 3 or something. So think about something which um, might bring up an urge or a craving, but not something too powerful. So it could be somebody um, upsetting you and you wanting to snap at them, or uh, being triggered to eat some food that you'd intended not to eat. Whatever works for you, just to get a sense of an urge or a craving at a, at a subtle level. Okay. Don't worry too much about exactly the right situation, as long as it's not something that's really over, going to be overwhelming for you.